So I went to a day in Melbourne, the Victorian general, and I thought it'd be a really good idea to go for a ride. Um, that's a bit wet. Hands are absolutely purple. Heater grips, I hope, are working. Wow, they're nice and warm. Check it out. I thought it would be a good idea to get some practice in the rain. I don't think I ride enough in the rain. So, let's see how this goes. How many days have I done so far? I don't even know. Let's have a look. Later. I'm just at the um, truck stop just out of Melbourne, their beverage. The beverage is an external. Oh, just take a quick break. But um, yeah, she's going well. I'm feeling it, but that's alright. She's going to need a nice wash when she gets home. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to this weather. Melbourne. Sorry in general, all seasons in one day. Alright, we are almost home. 177 k's down, actually it's more than that. It's probably 210 maybe. But while I was just riding along, I've gone from these gloves to these gloves. <clears throat> and I remember I got these Rose skins from when I was at Blessing in San Remo years ago because my original ones got waterlogged from Blessing that year when it was waterlogged. They're my original gloves, which I still wear today. And I just remembered why I bought these five gloves 10 years ago now, apart from the fact that they're really good winter gloves. I mean, look at that in there, the lining. But also, they're not a thick glove. These I've worn today and only switched them at beverage. And um, they're quite a thick glove. And what I remembered with these five gloves is that they, um, they're not a thick glove. So when you're actually gripping the gripping the bars of the bike, you actually feel the bars and they're a lot better than you're doing those. They're not much difference in, I don't think there are any difference in thickness, but inside, they're so much different. So much better. I remember why I got these now, they're awesome. They're good for winter and they stop, they go over, your glove, over the cuff of your sleeve and they work really well. So, yeah. Apart from that, I am drenched. Absolutely shivering. But, um, quite almost home. Bike is absolutely saturated and, um, i have to clean the next couple of days, I think, but that's all right. Screen's all fogged up. I've actually had to keep wiping the speedo, so I couldn't see the speed at all. But, um, yeah, hopefully get out a bit more. Take some more of these kind of videos. I was going to bring the GoPro out. I did, but I think the phones are much easier to use. So, yeah. Just some thoughts for you guys if you're looking at stuff for winter and what you should get. They're about these I paid about. 130, 140 bucks for these about 10 years ago. But God, they're good gloves. I don't know inside it. Alright. Almost home. I'll uh, upload this video and um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know when I'm riding next, but I'm just trying to get the K's up and the bike a bit more. Get body sort of used to it again and um, I might even do a video on the bike at some stage if you like. Um, I'll go through what, what it's got, all that sort of stuff and um, yeah. Alright guys, stay out of trouble, talk to you soon.